what is the solution? They give you guys two equations. Both of them have an x and a y, an x and a y. So we have a system of equations. And they give you solutions. They give you that x and y value. Now, some of you guys might try to plug in that x and the y value into both equations. And it should give you a true statement on both. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, we're going to actually solve it. I need to line them up. If you notice, the second equation is now in standard form. Standard form has to be the x, the y, the equal sign, and the number. Therefore, I'm going to move my, my 7x to the left will become a negative 7x. My first equation will stay exactly as it is. My second equation, the x moves to the left becomes a negative 7x minus 2y is equal to negative 2. And now I need to decide whether I want to cancel the x's or the y's. Let's see. I can cancel the y's by making them both 6's. So when I think of 3 and 2, I think of the number 6. I can maintain both as 6. By multiplying the first equation by 2 and the second equation by 3. Remember that you want to make them the same number but different signs. So we want to keep the sign positive and negative. So we're just going to multiply by 2 and a 3. That will give me 18x, multiply it out, plus 6y is equal to 6. Multiply each one by 3, that gives me a negative 21x, minus 6y is equal to negative 6. The y's cancel. This will give me negative 2x, and 6 minus 6 will give me a 0. I still need to go through the process. I'm going to divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. x is equal to 0. The x value is 0, so therefore your answer will be letter C. Now, if you want to find the y value, we can just plug in. So if I plug in the 0 into the, first, into the second equation, or if you prefer, you can plug into the first one. It's fine. 7 times 0 is 0, zero so negative 2y is equal to negative 2. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2 the y value is 1. So my answer, my x value is 0, my y value is 1.